In today's video, I'm going to take a look at a little bit more footage that I shot with the DJI Osmo Pocket selfie stick. Hey guys, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm testing out uh, a little bit more footage with the selfie stick. So I have the selfie stick in my hand, and it's extended probably about a foot um, and slightly angled so that I can uh, kind of keep this at, it's at, at about my eye level um, and obviously pointed back at me. So I'm going to do a little bit of kind of walking around here, just see, you know, how it uh, follows my face, how it tracks me. And then over here, I'm pretty good I suppose. Um, and this is being... <sighs> All right, so that lost my face again. Um, but I was jumping in the car, so it was kind of, kind of messed up there. Don't forget, don't forget to wear your seatbelts. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of just holding this in my hand. Um, you know, it's a little bit farther out than probably I could hold comfortably if I just was holding the gimbal in my hand alone. So this is a little farther away than I could hold it with my just my arm in my hand um, comfortably. So, so this seems that it would work pretty well. I'm gonna extend it out farther and see like. So right there I had it sticking out the window, probably about four, three and a half, four feet, um, or maybe a little more extended on the selfie stick. Um, so we'll see how that looks, kind of pointed back at the car. Um, yeah, so we'll see, I guess. But again, I'm just, so many videos of me just driving around, because that's all I do. So I can already tell, I can already tell that this is a bad way to record yourself in the car. Um, just because it's hard to hold the sticks steady. But I guess it'd be the same if I was holding my arm out. You know, it'd be kind of hard to hold. The GoPro, uh, the suction mount to the windshield, if you're going to do any kind of vlogging in a car, seems like a better option. So if you haven't seen the video on that, go ahead and check that out. You know, but this, I think, this definitely allows you to keep the gimbal farther away from you so that you're 
more centered in the frame and it's not so close. Like I said, um, the, the uh, field of view equivalent on the lens, I, you know, I read online it's anywhere between 25 and 28 millimeters, which is kind of, I mean, it's a little tight if you're only holding the gimbal at arm's length, right? So I think that's where a selfie stick would come in handy if you're gonna do this sort of vlogs, vlog style recording and you don't want it to be, you know, you don't want your face to be like, like this, right? <laughs> So I do think that just a, a little bit of an extension for vlogging is definitely useful. And then obviously if you're gonna do uh, any videos where you want a group of people in the video, kind of in a selfie arrangement, then obviously you're gonna need something to hold out uh, the camera farther than, than an arm, arm's length. It's not very wide. Uh, so that definitely will work. And to stop real quick at the deli, I didn't want to take this in. They already think I'm weird. So they have a Polish last name and I'm Polish. And that's a Polish deli and they think everybody speaks Polish. No matter how many times I go in there, I don't speak Polish. <laughs> it's like pointing and... Do you think that they understand like what does a pound and a half mean? It means 1.5 pounds. I wish I lived somewhere more interesting because right now, this time of year in Chicago area, it's it's probably in the 30s, right? Well, maybe low 40s right now. And I'm not wearing a coat, so it's cold. How to make it go and get the face? Yeah, see, for me this always loses my face, and I have a hard time getting the face tracking to track me again. Yeah, this is my shed. <laughs> Not that anybody cares.
So this is in the pers uh, first person view now, FPV. I don't know what difference this makes. I haven't really played too much with it. And this is just basically holding the gimbal about, again, on the selfie stick, about a foot out from my hand. Kind of make my way back up here. Just walk down some stairs. Again, this does a pretty good job of uh, tracking and recentering on your face um, when you're walking. Uh, this is the basement here. It's uh, kind of crappy lighting, so also not sure how this is going to look. I always like this picture. So this is a picture of Chicago skyline, kind of the reverse skyline because it's it's not the skyline people normally view or, or see uh, when they think of the Chicago skyline. Um, this is the one kind of from North Avenue Beach looking towards the Hancock Tower. And you can also see like the Drake Hotel is here, you know, and a bunch of those Navy Pier is like way over here. You can see, see the uh, Ferris wheel at Navy Pier. But I actually took this one when I was on a engagement session because uh, I used to be a very active wedding photographer, and I had a couple that we had just debated on whether or not to to um, to do the engagement session that day because it rained earlier, um, and. We ended up doing it and it was kind of cool because there's really very uh, interesting clouds where there's some white clouds and sun in the background, but then uh, some dark clouds right above. And <laughs> they were walking kind of off in this direction um, around around the bend of this uh, uh, trail, uh, not trail, uh, sidewalk sort of thing along the lake. And I told them, yeah, go ahead and keep going. And then I <laughs> took this picture. Um, it was kind of like one of those things where you have to be at the right place at the right time to get to get something cool so yeah i always like that photo totally random not related to this but since uh kind of going around here and if i extend this out so again you can, you can get pretty good pretty far away it's hard to tell if I can if you can see the stick in this. I don't know if you can. If I'm kind of holding it like this, it's a good. It's it's more than I can reach, right? So it's more than uh, my arms arms length away. Um, and then if I turn, you know, it kind of does keep me in the frame. Pretty good. So I could see this being useful of like, hey, smile, everybody, wave to the camera, yay, we're in the picture, right? Um, so you can definitely use that to take videos, you know, of, of more than just you and a group of people. So hope this was helpful. Probably wasn't. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just want to, for, for more than anything, I just want to see this footage for myself, and I figure I might as well share it with everybody else. So... Again, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and I'll see you next time.